Grandma, so uh, can we talk about the fact that I saw you with some people in masks and robes in the woods last night? It would be nice to talk after I've had some tea. Grandma. Oh, yes, yeah, some tea would really hit the spot. <laughs> Grandma, I've been, um, I've been thinking about my childhood memories of your garden. Just bursting with veggies in every color. <laughs> I think we could bring it back to the way it was. Are you sure? That's quite a bit of work. What would we need? <laughs> well, for it to be enough to feed us and turn a profit, you'd need to build a bunch more garden beds. That means keeping a compost bin so you can get a whole lot of good soil to fill them. And you'll need to chop some wood to make the beds. Okay, I'm on it. very potent brew. Here's that key to the basements that you asked about. But the hooded strangers? Go on down, my dear. It will all make sense, I promise. I'm this. I will not. I'll do. I'm tip. Tell me, honeybee. Does Arthur mind that you left your job in the city to come help me? Well, I didn't really leave my job. My job left me. Our site got acquired, but the new parent company just wanted our subscriber list, not our editors. Maybe Dad wishes I was using my degree in a new job in the city. But then who would help you here? He's not going to come do farm work. <laughs> That's for certain. Your father has the blackest thumb I've ever known. Even when he was a boy. Oh, we were sad when he left. But the garden sure wasn't. Go on down to the basement and... I definitely have more questions than answers now. Uh, uh. Is that a cauldron? Not just any cauldron. Your cauldron. What? Oh, n n no, I'm not a... Witch? Oh, my dear, yes, you are. No layperson could make a brew like that on her first try. I feel as spry as I did 50 years ago. This basement is your sanctum. You have your cauldron, of course. Oh, wait, wait, is Dad a witch or, 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 or warlock or... Arthur? Oh, no. Uh, no, honeybee, he's more conventional, I'm afraid. But I saw that spark of magic in your eyes the first time I held you. I've always known you would be an extraordinary witch. But the coven needs proof before they'll accept you. Coven? Those folks in the woods, of course. They put a charm on the bramble wall, so you'll need a wand to open it. <laughs> this is, uh, kind of a lot to learn all at once. I understand, honeybee. When you're ready, read this incantation before the special silver willow in the woods. Then you'll have a branch to make your first wand. Das Geheimnis. Sprich die Zauberformel, die Oma dir gegeben hat, während du im Wald arbeitest. Grandma says 
says this is my cauldron, but I better wait until I've learned how to use it. Kim. Hey, Kim. I'm Tara. I just moved here from the city. Oh. So what sent you screaming from the city? Dead end job? Associate pass on dating apps? I gotta let go for my job in the city, so I came here for a fresh start. I get it. I came here to try something new, too. This is the butcher. We only sell humanely treated animal products. Right now, I have to source the meat from off-island, but we'll hopefully get a new rancher to move here soon. Cool. Nice to meet you. Grandma was always good luck on a boat back in the day. She had a heron's eye for spotting fish. But how can you see fish if they're underwater? <laughs> she hasn't taught you much, has she? Uh, um, potatoes? Here, take this rod. Keep your eyes peeled whenever you're near water for the shadows of swimming fish. When you see them near the surface like that, you know they're feeding. Trick is to get one of them to nibble on your hook instead of the bait fish they're chasing. How do I do that? You'll need some bait. Here are some worms. Hey, you're not the squeamish type, are you? You gotta hook your bait and cast your line. You'll feel when you got one, and then you reel it in. Wait, 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 back up. <laughs> How do I cast my line? You'll get the hang of it. The lake in the forest is a nice place to start. Uh, but take care, you hear? Don't go in those woods after sunset. I've seen things... Well, you wouldn't believe me. My boy Otto didn't either till he saw it for himself. Just stay safe and come back and see me after you've given it a few tries. place a monthly order for fresh flowers, Violet. It, it's not like I asked for a rush job. I'm sorry. It's just that the fairy's running behind schedule. Again. Maybe if the fairy wasn't underfunded, this wouldn't happen. Make excuses if you like. Late is late, as I tell my students. Bad time? Ugh, no. It's fine. I just... When my dad was mayor, the fairy always ran on time. Hey... Do you have any wildflowers growing on your farm? Maybe I could make some substitutions. Uh, sort of? How do you feel about thistles? You're suggesting I make a bouquet out of thistles? Thistles? Oh, look, if you don't want them, did you hear me say no? The sooner I can get Vanessa out of my hair, the better. So... Anything I can put in my bouquets? Stress no more, I found just the thing. See? They're pretty. Yes! Those will do nicely. <sighs> 
it's hard sometimes. Filling all these orders to decorate the house I grew up in. Whoa, does the mansion go with the job? Yep. Anyway, thanks. You saved my butt. Oh my gosh, you gotta be Tara! Hazel's been hyping you up for weeks now. Well, now I'm embarrassed. Don't be, it's sweet. I wish I had a grandma here to talk about how great I am. <laughs> anyway, I'm Violet. Pleased to meet you, Violet. We don't get too many new faces around here in Fairhaven, so let me know if you ever want to hang out. Wenn man einen Schein kauft, da wird keine kalte Kupfer. Etwas. I could make this whole area a place for gardening, but you'll need to clear out all the trees and rocks from the area I've roped off. Got it? You come back and let me know when you've cleared out all the trees and rocks there, and then we can talk business. I can make a bigger shed, but you'll need to clear out all the trees and rocks from the area I've roped off. Got it? Inscription says, If I be worthy, ancient tree, give a silver branch to me. Please? Wow! I mean, uh, uh thanks, magic tree. I can tell which town. I go about it. Fair 
Ravenhaven, shall we? Long enough to know I prefer the peace and quiet of the woods to town. I don't mind when your Graham comes for a visit, though. She knows when to take her leave without needing a hint. Oh. Okay. I, um, guess I'll be on my way. of the light is not a common I don't know their names. I always called them Mr. and Mrs. Dahl. It's all right. You could call my dad Marcus now, if he still lived here. He's in a retirement home in Milkwater. And Lisa, that's my ma, passed away eight years ago. I am really sorry to hear that. It's okay. All in the past, right? So you came here to take care of your grandma? That's really nice. You sound disappointed. It's just that it's less fun to prank people who are really nice. I could try being less nice. Thanks, but that's okay. Emmy and I already have lots of people to prank. Hazel is a dope old lady. You're lucky having a grandma like that. What? Not a big fan of your own grandparents? Um, my mom's parents died when I was little, and my dad's parents can't visit much because of visa problems. Oh, I'm sorry for bringing it up. No, nah, it's, it's cool. Hazel's the communal grandma. Fair warning, mom might try to overload you with food. Feeding people is, well, like her love language.
of strength. I could eat some food to recover some strength. We'll try again tomorrow. Mine shaft. <laughs> Looks like I can't get into it until it's fixed. Is your wand ready? Yes. Look, careful where you point that thing. Oh my, you have a lot to learn. It's time for you to <coughs> meet the coven. Are you ready to go? I still have some other things to do today. All right. Let me know when you're ready. Should I go to bed? <laughs> <laughs> 